Okay, professors, welcome. So in this video, we're gonna see the questions and answers from simple and compound interest related to this specific exam, right? So the first thing which I would like to say is in this particular exam, simple and compound interest is very rare. I mean, you would hardly see one single question from simple and compound interest just that it might be asked. So we don't, we at Prepinsa, we don't miss out on anything. So we have included it here. But you will hardly see a question from simple and compound interest in the exam, right? Uh, you might see one question sometimes, I mean, not even that sure, right? So let's see on the basic questions and I hope you have gone through the theory already. So that is going to help you somewhere or the other, right? So here's the first question from simple and compound interest for this particular exam. I'm giving you 60 seconds to solve this question. Take your time and get back to us, right? So here's a timer of 60 seconds on your screen. So it says if you deposit rupees 110 in the bank, so that means the principal amount is 110 at a simple interest of 12% per year, right? So the rate is 12. How much money will you have in the bank after two years? Time is two years. We need to find, right? So what is the formula for simple interest? The formula to find simple interest is PRT by 100. The principal is 110, the rate is 12, the time is 2 upon 100. 0 and 0 gone. 12 twos are 24, so this will give you 26.4. Yes, 26.4 would be the answer no it says how much money will you have in the bank after two years so this is only the simple interest but this is also the amount the amount is will also be there right the principal amount so the amount total would be p plus s i which is 110 plus 26.4 that is 136.4 Though it's not there in the option, so D would be the correct answer, right? Okay. So coming to the next question, it says, if certain sum of money at simple interest amounts to rupees 2800 in two years, and to 3 to 5 0 in 5 years then the rate of interest per annum is so guys take your time think on this a very easy question just a little trick involved here i'm giving you 60 seconds to solve this question and then i'll solve it for you guys so here's the timer of 60 seconds on your screen
so it says a certain sum of money at simple interest amounts to 2800 in 2 years and to 3250 in 5 years right and we need to find the rate of interest per annum right so how do we find that so guys tell me one thing. simple interest what is simple interest it is always calculated on the principal amount whereas compound interest is not not only calculated on the principal amount it is calculated on the principal amount plus the interest of the previous cycles right so <clears throat> from here i can say that the interest for 3 years is the the simple interest in 3 years is nothing but 3250 minus 2800 which is 450 in 3 years so see initially in 2 years it was two, the amount was 2800 in next 3 years when it completed 5 years it became 3250 so in this 3 years what exceeded rupees 450 so in simple interest we can say that if 450 in 3 years so that means it is 150 per year 450 divided by 3 so it is 150 per year so 150 per year is the simple interest right yes now if 150 per year is the simple interest then coming back to this this point here so in 2 years the amount was 2800 where 150 per year is the simple interest so in 2 years the simple interest would be 2 into 150 cause the simple interest is 150 per year so that is equals to 300 rupees so 300 is the simple interest so if 300 is the simple interest the amount is 2800 then the principal is amount minus the si which is 2500 yes so now you have the princ uh, so you have the principal amount you have the si you have the time that is 2 years so you can find the rate right so rate would be si into 100 upon p into t i'm just i've just so si is P R T by hundred, so I've just you know exchanged them. So the rate would be the S I. S I is three hundred into hundred upon the principal is two five zero zero into the time is two years, right? So zero zero gone, zero zero gone. This gives twelve. So twelve by two is six. So six percentage is the correct answer, right? So. the only thing to be noted here is this if it is 28 the amount is 2800 in 2 years and 3 to 50 in 5 years that means in this 3 years the simple interest was 450 rupees so it this means the simple interest is 150 rupees per year right so if it is 150 rupees per year then we can calculate the principal amount which we calculated to be 2500 now you have the simple interest you have the principal amount you have the time so out of the four variables you have three so you you found out the fourth one as simple as that coming to the next question it says analyzing the good returns from hello circle insurance private limited was giving ratika bought a one year rupees 10000 certificate of deposit that paid interest at an annual rate of 8% compounded semi annually what was the total amount of interest paid on this certificate at maturity you need to find the amount you are given with the rate the time and the principal amount so i'm giving you a time of 60 seconds use the formula try calculating and get back right
because I've already said, you know, the number of questions from SI and CI in this particular exam are very rare, right? This is one question asked, you know, in two years, right? This was the only single question asked in two years, right? So, I mean, you should not invest a lot of time here in simple and compound interest. And though you should know the simple and compound interest formulas because you will be attempting other exams as well, so which we, which is why we have involved it here. So it says, so coming to the formula directly. So the formula for formula for amount is in compound interest is P into one plus R by N, the whole raised to the power NT. Yes. Principal is 10,000 into one plus. What is the rate? The rate is eight by 100 because it is eight percentage upon n. So this is one difference between the simple interest formula and the compound interest formula. In the simple interest formula, it is PRT by 100, right? So you have already included this 100 here. But in case of compound interest formula, we don't, we do it, write it as R. So that doesn't mean we don't have to write 100 here. We have to write 100 here. So the rate is 8 by 100 upon n. So what is n? It is compounded semi-annually. So every year it is compounded twice. So that means n is 2. If it is given that it is compounded quarterly, in that case, in one year it is compounded 4 times. So n is 4. Whole raised to the power 2 into year. Number of years is 1, right? So this is what it is. So 10,000 into 1 plus 8 by 200 the whole square. So this is... Uh, 4 so this is 2 and 50 right so that is gonna give 10,000 into 52 by 50 the whole square so you can calculate it from here right and the answer which you will get at the end is 10816 the one good thing for this particular exam is that you have an on-screen calculator so the calculations will not be of major concern right so the correct answer is option number a sorry so the question has asked that what the total amount of interest paid at the certificate maturity so i'm really sorry i didn't go through that so if the amount is 10816 yes we need to find the interest right so what is the interest the compound interest is nothing but principal uh, sorry the amount minus the principal amount so the amount which we got is 10816 minus the principal amount that is 10000 right so 816 would be your answer so option number a c would be your correct answer so yeah even i learned even you should learn that read the question very carefully read what it is asking you right so we would have marked it a even even after doing everything correctly would have you know marked it wrong right so Please take care of the questions and the thing asked in the question very carefully. Coming to the next question, it says, a certain sum doubles in seven years with under simple interest. In how many years will the sum become four times itself? Take your time, solve this question. I'm giving you 90 seconds to solve this question and here's the timer on your screen.
okay so guys uh, this is a pretty simple question right so once we calculate uh, we saw the second question wherein we calculated that this amount in three years so this much amount in five years so we can calculate the simple interest from there so similar trick we can use here is it doubles in seven years right so in seven years I'm sorry so in seven years let's say the principal amount is P so in seven years it doubles right 2p so it is nothing but p plus p in seven years so i can say that the interest is p per seven years or the interest is p by seven per year yes so in 14 years what would it be in 14 years it would be p plus p plus p right because this is the principal amount this is for the first seven years this is for the next seven years because every seven years p is added so it is now three times thrice now so in 21 years it would be p plus p plus p plus p this is the principal amount this is the interest in first seven years this is the interest in second seven year and this is the interest in third seven years so it becomes 4p right so that means in 21 years it is getting quadruple or four times right so the answer is 21 you can also use this formula to calculate that p by 7 per year so right it needs to be 4p right so you can calculate it that way but there is no need to do that you can simply get the answer as 21 from here right because every seven year p is adding up right so so if p is the interest it needs to be 4p so basically 3p needs to be added up so every seven years p is adding up so 3p will be added up in 21 years three times of seven years 21 years right so guys that's all we have from you know the simple and compound interest from this particular exam and you know this many questions are more than enough for you and do a little bit of questions from the practice sheet from simple and compound interest and that would be enough. Thank you so much. We hope that you like this video. There are more than 15 free videos in the same series. And also I would like you to know that we are providing 50% discount on all our TCS paid materials. Link to everything that I just said is there in the description below. Also make sure that you join our WhatsApp group where we provide the latest off campus drive information and preparation tips and tricks. Uh, these uh, WhatsApp groups are really helpful for the students who are preparing for the TCS exam because we will be sharing the latest question that will be coming in the exam on all these WhatsApp groups for the 3rd and 4th August noon batch. So make sure you join those and don't forget to like, subscribe and hit the bell icon. And if you have any query, please comment in the comment section below. Thank you.